Hello, welcome back to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. I've been asked by a guy on Twitter, uh, the name of Gonzo Frogbottom. I've got a feeling that's not his real profile picture um, or his real name. However, he basically asked me a question with regards to trashing preferences on Cubase. So, as we all know, Cubase can be pretty temperamental and basically lots of different little things happen, uh, slow save times, graphical glitches, media bay messing about, new plugins not showing up, and sometimes it's recommended to trash your preferences. So what I thought I'd do is I'd take you through that process. So first thing we need to do, I'm gonna to go to my computer. In fact, I want, let me go to control panel and I need to go to folder options. Now, if we click on the view button, you need to highlight show hidden files, folders and drives. Now, this is if we go this way. So it's because I'm gonna to go to C drive Username, Studio, or your computer name, mine's called Studio Door, and App Data. You can see there it's uh, semi-transparent. That means it would be a hidden file normally. So now that we've unchecked that box or checked that box, we can now go into App Data, click Roaming, and go down to Steinberg. Now, what you need to do here is look for your version of Cubase. I'm using Cubase 8, 64-bit. So that's the one I'm going to do. So what we can do is right click, copy, and we will paste. And what we're gonna do is rename this. Now what I need to do is I'm gonna put a capital A in front of it. And we'll get rid of copy. Now the reason I put a letter in front is because if you leave it as Cubase 8 copy, it could still effectively look through this folder. We don't want it to check this folder at all, so I've put an A in front of it. So if your preferences are all good and working, it's worth doing this now. So you've got a complete backup of your preferences that are working. For instance, I create quite a lot of templates, so all my templates are saved in this. So rather than lose a lot of work, it's always worth backing this up. So now that we've done that, we can actually delete this folder. Now that's effectively trashing your preferences. So if I go to, in fact, let me keep that folder open. So let me just go back, Roman and Steinberg. So now if I click on Cubase to boot up, you will see it'll automatically start. There you go, it's recreated that folder. And now as Cubase is booting up, it's basically rebuilding all the preferences so because we've got a, a non-existent folder, you can see now Cubase is gonna take forever loading up because it's completely reconfiguring that preferences. So what I'll do is I will come back once this is finished. Okay, so here we are. Cubase is now eventually booted up and you can see we're back to the very, very basics. So where all my projects would be normally stored, you can see now that it's empty. Obviously not what we wanted, but if you're having issues, like I say, it's worth trashing the preferences. So let's just close this back down. I'll show you another couple of ways of getting to where we need to be. Let me just go back to my folder. So computer, C, uh, users, studio door, app data, Roman, and Steinberg. So here's our newly created preferences. I'm gonna restore mine back. So I'll delete that one and I'll rename. I'll just take the A off. So now my Cubase will be back to normal. So I shall just show you that. So there you can see, there's my template back. So everything's as it was normally. So there is another quick way. Let me just close this down again. I actually stumbled across a little website um, here and it's a guy called Phil Pendlebury and he shows you this way where you're going to start just copy and paste percentage mark app data percentage mark reverse slash Steinberg 
and there you go it brings us back to our folder and what we can do is copy and rename our file again however he also has um, another little page here where there's some free applications I'll put the link to this in the information at the bottom you can see here if I click on uh, Steinberg door utilities he's got where is it SB prefs backup so I download this it's only a tiny little file and what this is is a great little tool which allows you to so double click run so what this does is basically lets us choose our audio application in this case the same as before uh, Cubase 864 bit is what I'm running and click back up and what I can do now is choose a location uh, where to save this so I'm going to save it to my desktop click OK it'll take a little minute operation completed and you can see now here it's created a new folder and that's a backup of our you know good working preferences so we could keep that save it somewhere safe so a couple of different ways of getting to where we need to be to do the exact same thing so very very handy and certainly this is I mean for me now I'll probably zip that up and keep it safe on a, a D drive or maybe a USB pen or just a, another location so if anything goes wrong with Cubase I can just replace these back and it will work again so I'm fortunate my preferences don't need trashing that often in fact I've probably only ever done it two or three times but if things are going wrong your VSTs aren't working Cubase is crashing or you've got glitches it's definitely worth deleting your preferences so while you've got a good working version I'd certainly recommend backing up your preferences like what we've done now and um, I think that's about it just one more thing actually before we go um, if you wanted to individually replace files within the preferences then what I've done is I've just printed off a list of settings files and their purpose so within the preferences this is what each one of these files does so you could for instance just get rid of presets RAM presets XML uh, that also within that RAM presets XML that's where your quantize values and so on are saved as well so what I'll do is let me show you the next one might be worth pausing the video and having a look at these or you can actually find the link on the Steinberg website which is what I'll uh, I'll put a link to that as well so let me just click the next one so there you go look quantize presets same for presets RAM presets XML so if for instance you are having issues with uh, something in particular then you could actually just replace this file so for instance I, I actually create a quantize map uh, for Cubase rather than the standard quantize I also create a load of other com quantizes like the MPC settings and logic and so on so what you do is replace that RAM presets XML and voila you've got a load of cool new quantize settings so if you want to check out my website for that again I'll put a link to that below so yeah please have a look at this and again check the information below for different links to different things and until next time bye bye